Hello, hello ladies. So I'm really excited because you have just purchased your very own 4D fiber lash mascara. I am pumped, but with this amazing mascara comes a little bit of a learning curve. So I'm gonna show you today all of my tips, tricks, and hacks to applying this so that you get the maximum volume and the maximum lash length that you are desiring. So let's go ahead and just jump right in, okay? I naturally have very baby lashes. You guys can see that you can't really see my lashes right now, okay? And it's fine. This mascara is incredible. <sighs> my favorite part, it's one step. One step. This has a very unique wand, you guys. It's completely patented. And what it is, is it has a flat side. So you guys see that? Flat side, round side, okay? got this rounded side and a flat side and what that does is it helps to take those Y shaped fibers and interlock them with your lashes okay now how you do that is you're supposed to roll the wand so I'm gonna show you a couple of different techniques a couple of different things that I've been giving out to all of my amazing customers and show you what works best on my lashes everybody's lashes are different you guys so what works for me might not work for you but I'm gonna show you all the tips today so when you first get your 4D mascara, it's going to tell you how you are to apply it. What Unique recommends you doing is taking this brush here, placing the wand at the base of your lashes, wiggling a little bit and rolling out. Now my lashes are so tiny that that technique does not work for me. So that what I like to do, I like to pop that wand out of here and I'm gonna show you something else that's really cool. You're gonna need a compact mirror when you're doing your mascara, and here's why. If you're messy like me and you get mascara all over the top of your lid, which then ruins the entire eye look you just spent time putting on, you're gonna take your compact mirror and you're actually gonna hold it down here, okay? And you're gonna look down into this compact mirror that you have. Mine has a magnifier because I'm super blind without my glasses, so I switch it to that side. And what I do is I take this wand and as I'm looking down, I take that wand and I set it underneath my lashes and it allows me to capture the entire lash and I zigzag or wiggle, whatever you want to call it. And this does two things. Number one, it's getting a good base coat on my lashes for me. And number two, it is separating them. And you always wanna have beautifully separated lashes, right? Nobody wants spider lashes. And you'll see for the most part, I have a pretty clean upper lid at this point. It's a pain in the butt, I know guys, to get mascara off. And it's typically the last step that we do, right? Okay, so here we go. I've got tons of length just from that one little trick but I don't stop there. I go in with a second coat, okay? So when I go in with that second coat, I actually go mid lash to tip and that's when I use that rolling motion that um, corporate is suggesting you do, okay? So I dip this back in to my product, always put it back in and take it back out, ladies, okay? And here's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna roll it towards you. Now this does take a little bit of practice because you're not really usually typically rolling a wand. No one that I know of has ever given you those instructions. So you're just gonna roll it, okay? And it's gonna pull those lashes up. It's gonna give you a lot of definition. It's gonna give you that length you desire. Do you see where my lashes are going? They are sky high. It's incredible, I love it. And because we're rolling it, we're getting all of those fibers and they are interlocking with our real lashes look at the difference there you guys isn't that crazy 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 so all you ladies with super baby lashes like me where you can't even tell that you got them that's the technique i would suggest for you okay so you go in with a base coat you wiggle that wand you get your lashes on nice and lifted and then you go back in and you go ahead and you roll that up and you guys can put as many coats of this on as you want and you will continue to get length um, I would be careful though how much you put on your whole lash, okay? I always suggest going mid lash to tip when you're going on with a second coat and any other coat thereafter, okay? Now, let's say you have got really long lashes, okay? 
and they're kind of unruly. What I want you to do is some people find that they get way too much product on this, okay? If you are finding that you have too much product on this wand, simple fix. All you do is you turn that wand and so that you're not wasting the product, you're gonna just take the side and wipe that off, okay? And it's okay to do that, you guys. You don't have to feel like you need all of that product on your wand. Some of us will, some of us won't. I personally like all the product on the wand. Not everybody does and that's okay. Once you've gotten all that product off, let's say you've got really long lashes, okay? And they're a little bit unruly. I want you to take this wand in your hand and you're gonna wiggle and blink. Wiggle and blink. Wiggle and blink. Wiggle and blink. This again does not work well for me personally, but if you've already got pretty long lashes, this is gonna go ahead and coat everything that you have, okay? So you'll see, I don't get anywhere near the amount of length with that application technique, but I'm telling you, I have seen women who have done this with longer lashes and it's like, bam, they do it one time and their lashes are like up here on their eyebrows. It's crazy, crazy. So again, base of your lash, blink. Base of your lash, blink. Base of your lash, blink. And you just kind of move it back and forth. Also, short lash girls will notice that if you try this technique, you're gonna get, you're gonna make a mess. That's fine, you can go back and clean it up, it's no big deal. But those are just a few of the ways that um, I've seen some of my other presenter friends putting this mascara on. Those are my best tips, tricks, and hacks. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Reach out to me, drop something in the comments, and I will be happy to get back to you. Have a great day, ladies.